throughout the playoffs. Nowitzki elevating his status amongst the NBA's greats and leading this team. Jumper got it, Nowitzki! Just a different Dallas team, gritty, tough, and now they're ready to celebrate a championship. The Mavericks have scaled the NBA playoff belt and have planted their flag. They are the NBA champions for 2010, 2011. For the first time in franchise history, the Dallas Mavericks have won the NBA championship. And the MVP of this series, Dirk Nowitzki. 2011, he won the championship. <laughs> Folks called that one of the biggest upsets of all time. But in my opinion, shoot, Dallas should have won that series. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. And I'm going to give you four reasons as to why. Pay attention. This is my marvelous, bro. Y'all know what it is. This ain't a hot take. This is a real take. So let's go. And we're going to go with the first reason right here. The overall roster. Now, when you look at a roster from top to bottom, you have to look at Everybody, because you never know who's got to play, who's got to step up. And if Dallas would have had Karan Butler, they might have swept Miami, if we being honest. So, and I just want to put this out there. This isn't me. I'm not a LeBron hater, so this isn't about LeBron. I just want to put that out there. But if you look at the roster from top to bottom, outside of the big three, Miami is very weak. Dallas, you had Dirk. You had Sean Marion, Jason Kidd, J.J. Barea, Jason Terry, Paige Stoyaktovic. You know what I'm saying? You had Tyson Chandler, Deshaun Stevenson. You had some tough, gritty guys, man. You had guys with a chip on their shoulders. You had guys with something to prove. Now, speaking of something to prove, we're going to go on to reason number two. Previous disappointments. Now, y'all going to see what I'm talking about right now. Three straight NBA championships. in franchise history. The Miami Heat, the 2000... As you can see, core of Dallas have all been through a bunch of heartbreaks. You saw Dirk losing to Miami. You saw Jason Kidd losing in the finals twice in back-to-back -back years to the Lakers and to the Spurs. So they knew their time was limited. So these guys had to win and they had to win now. They was tired of coming in, you know, coming in second place and, you know, they came together at the right time. They got hot at the right time. And they and one thing the Mavericks did, they played together. Everybody knew their roles. Everybody knew what was expected. You had a great coach in Rick Carlisle. You had all the pieces you needed to potentially win the championship. Now it's about, are you going to do it or are you going to be disappointed again? And the Mavs didn't want to be disappointed again. All right, number three, momentum. Ah, this is going to make me cry. Because for those who don't know, I am a Laker fan, so watching this really makes me sad. All right, so this was the series the Mavericks were supposed to lose. There was no reason the Mavericks were supposed to def beat the defending champions, right? Like, right? Come on now. Now, everybody expected th this to be the LeBron versus Kobe finals that we finally been waiting for. I was hoping that that, was, that, that finals was going to happen as well. But the Mavs had other ideas. And when they swept the Lakers in that game four, and they beat us by like 40, I almost, oh my God. Like, I wanted to hide him, bro. It was bad, man. 
you know, it was bad to watch that. But that showed me that the Mavs, after that series, I was like, the Mavs are winning the championship. The Mavs are winning the championship after that series. I knew it. I was about 16, 17 at the time. But I knew, I'm like, the Mavs are going to win the championship after they just demolished the Lakers. And then soon, after the Lakers, they had to go against OKC. And OKC was just was just too young. They didn't have enough experience. So there was no way the Mavs were going to lose to a team whose best player is, what, 22 years old? You know what I'm saying? They had everything going for them. Man, this series was all about Dirk. All about Dirk cementing himself into a playoff legend. You know, this was the series, not the series, but this playoff run just cemented his legacy, man. Because before this, all Dirk was known as was a big game choker, a guy who was scared to get physical, little guys could guard him, you know, he just wasn't looked at like the other great power forwards. Even Charles Barkley, who doesn't have a ring, was looked at as better than Dirk, because at least Charles Barkley came up in the clutch when it mattered. But, you know, this series against OKC, Dirk gave me 32 points a game. In five, in a five game series, shot fifty five percent from the field, thirty seven percent from three, and ninety six percent from the line. Dirk was like a man possessed offensively, and no offense to Serge Ibaka and Nick Collison and old bum ass Kendrick Perkins. Now nah, all offense to Kendrick Perkins, but anyway, they wasn't guarding Dirk. Nobody was guarding Dirk at this time. He knew that this was probably his only chance to win a championship, his only chance to avenge his legacy. You know, the Mavs just played together. They had all the momentum. But now, this is the main reason why I picked Dallas to win the series. This is the main reason why. My final reason. House money. House money. It's really that simple, bro. Now, I may have had Dallas pick winning this series, but... Most of America, most of the world thought, you know, Miami was just too talented, too much. LeBron, D-Wade, and Bosh was just too much for Miami. That's what guys thought. But one thing I understood is that house money makes a difference. If Miami lost, if Miami lost this series, which they did, it would have been way different than Dallas losing. If Dallas lost, Dallas was supposed to be just happy to be there. The old Mavericks was supposed to be just happy to be in the moment. And Miami was supposed to just reign supreme with their dominance all over the NBA. But that didn't happen. Dallas came out. They played together. They shot the three well. And Dirk was just, again, a man possessed. Jason Terry as well. Big shot after big shot. Jason Barrett coming off the bench. Big shot after big shot. Sean Marion playing D on LeBron. You know, just overall giving his energy, trying to help the team win. At the end of the day, that's how you get a W, bruh. You know, if you have if you have a lot of star power, but the rest of your team ain't really nothing, then what, then what does it matter? You're going to lose to a better team, a more cohesive team, man. Dallas played their heart out because Dallas knew that they weren't going to get criticized if they lost. And... They knew it was going to be a way sweeter feeling if they won. This was probably, this was their last chance. Because as you can see, Dallas ain't even been back to the conference finals since. Now, probably, now being with Luka, it's probably going to change that. But they ain't been back since for a reason. Because they knew this was their shot. That window was closing and it definitely closed. But you know, I'm happy this team won. They deserve that. These embraces are real. A lot of guys who kept getting knocked down over and over and over and over again finally won a championship. Now, this wasn't an upset to me. This was what was supposed to happen. It wasn't Miami's turn. It was Dallas's turn. Once they beat the Lakers, no. Once they beat the absolute dog shit out the Lakers, it was it. Like, that was it. That was it to me. I didn't think nobody was beating this team. Shoot, they was desperate. They was on a mission. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's all I got for y'all, man. 
Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all agree? Do y'all disagree? You know, let me know in the comments. You know, I'll react to y'all. And by the way, y'all follow me on my socials. Man, everybody have a blessed day. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there, y'all. Peace out, bro. Let's get it.